Beryllium, Wikipedia article audio. Beryllium is a chemical element with symbol B and atomic number 4. It is a relatively rare element in the universe, usually occurring as a product of the spallation of larger atomic nuclei that have collided with cosmic rays. Within the cores of stars beryllium is depleted as it is fused and creates larger elements. It is a divalent element which occurs naturally only in combination with other elements in minerals. Notable gemstones which contain beryllium include beryl and chrysoberyl. As a free element it is a steel gray, strong, lightweight and brittle alkaline earth metal. Beryllium improves many physical properties when added as an alloying element to aluminium, copper, iron, and nickel. Beryllium does not form oxides until it reaches very high temperatures. Tools made of beryllium copper alloys are strong and hard and do not create sparks when they strike a steel surface. In structural applications, the combination of high flexural rigidity, thermal stability, thermal conductivity, and low density make beryllium metal a desirable aerospace material for aircraft components, missiles, spacecraft, and satellites. Because of its low density and atomic mass, beryllium is relatively transparent to X-rays and other forms of ionizing radiation, therefore, it is the most common window material for X-ray equipment and components of particle detectors. The high thermal conductivities of beryllium and beryllium oxide have led to their use in thermal management applications. Characteristics Physical Properties the commercial use of beryllium requires the use of appropriate dust control equipment and industrial controls at all times because of the toxicity of inhaled beryllium containing dusts that can cause a chronic life threatening allergic disease in some people called beryllosis. Beryllium is a steel gray and hard metal that is brittle at room temperature and has a close packed hexagonal crystal structure. It has exceptional stiffness and a reasonably high melting point. The modulus of elasticity of beryllium is approximately 50% greater than that of steel. The combination of this modulus and a relatively low density results in an unusually fast sound conduction speed in beryllium about 12.9 km per second at ambient conditions. Other significant properties are high specific heat and thermal conductivity, which make beryllium the metal with the best heat dissipation characteristics per unit weight. In combination with the relatively low coefficient of linear thermal expansion, these characteristics result in a unique stability under conditions of thermal loading. Naturally occurring beryllium save for slight contamination by the cosmogenic radioisotopes, is isotopically pure beryllium-9, which has a nuclear spin of 3-2. Beryllium has a large scattering cross-section for high-energy neutrons, about 6 barns for energies above approximately 10 keV. Therefore, it works as a neutron reflector and neutron moderator effectively slowing the neutrons to the thermal energy range of below 0.03 eV, where the total cross-section is at least an order of magnitude lower exact value strongly depends on the purity and size of the crystallites in the material. The single primordial beryllium isotope 9b also undergoes a neutron reaction with neutron energies over about 1.9 MeV, to produce 8b which almost immediately breaks into two alpha particles. Thus, for high-energy neutrons, beryllium is a neutron multiplier, releasing more neutrons than it absorbs. This nuclear reaction is Neutrons are liberated when beryllium nuclei are struck by energetic alpha particles producing the nuclear reaction. Nuclear Properties Beryllium also releases neutrons under bombardment by gamma rays. Thus, 
natural beryllium bombarded either by alphas or gammas from a suitable radioisotope is a key component of most radioisotope-powered nuclear reaction neutron sources for the laboratory production of free neutrons. Small amounts of tritium are liberated when 9, 4b, nuclei absorb low-energy neutrons in the three-step nuclear reaction. Isotopes and Nucleosynthesis Note that 6, 2 He, has a half-life of only 0.8 seconds, beta is an electron, and 6, 3 Li, has a high neutron absorption cross-section. Tritium is a radioisotope of concern in nuclear reactor waste streams. As a metal, Beryllium is transparent to most wavelengths of X-rays and gamma rays, making it useful for the output windows of X-ray tubes and other such apparatus. Both stable and unstable isotopes of beryllium are created in stars, but the radioisotopes do not last long. It is believed that most of the stable beryllium in the universe was originally created in the interstellar medium when cosmic rays induced fission in heavier elements found in interstellar gas and dust. Primordial beryllium contains only one stable isotope, 9b, and therefore beryllium is a monoisotopic element. Occurrence Radioactive cosmogenic 10b is produced in the atmosphere of the Earth by the cosmic ray spallation of oxygen. 10b accumulates at the soil surface, where its relatively long half-life permits a long residence time before decaying to boron-10. Thus, 10b and its daughter products are used to examine natural soil erosion, soil formation and the development of lateritic soils and as a proxy for measurement of the variations in solar activity and the age of ice cores. The production of 10b is inversely proportional to solar activity, because increased solar wind during periods of high solar activity decreases the flux of galactic cosmic rays that reach the Earth. Nuclear explosions also form 10b by the reaction of fast neutrons with 13c in the carbon dioxide in air. This is one of the indicators of past activity at nuclear weapon test sites. The isotope 7b is also cosmogenic, and shows an atmospheric abundance linked to sunspots, much like 10b. Production 8b has a very short half-life of about 7 times 1017 s that contributes to its significant cosmological role, as elements heavier than beryllium could not have been produced by nuclear fusion in the Big Bang. This is due to the lack of sufficient time during the Big Bang's nucleosynthesis phase to produce carbon by the fusion of 4 He nuclei and the very low concentrations of available beryllium-8. The British astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle first showed that the energy levels of 8b and 12c allow carbon production by the so-called triple-alpha process in helium-fueled stars where more nucleosynthesis time is available. This process allows carbon to be produced in stars, but not in the Big Bang. Star-created carbon is thus a component in the elements in the gas and dust ejected by AGB stars and supernovae as well as the creation of all other elements with atomic numbers larger than that of carbon. Chemical Properties The 2's electrons of beryllium may contribute to chemical bonding. Therefore, when 7b decays by L electron capture, it does so by taking electrons from its atomic orbitals that may be participating in bonding. This makes its decay rate dependent to a measurable degree upon its chemical surroundings a rare occurrence in nuclear decay. The shortest lived known isotope of beryllium is 13b which decays through neutron emission. It has a half-life of 2.7 times 1021 S6b is also very short lived with a half-life of 5.0 times 1021 S. The exotic isotopes 11b and 14b are known to exhibit a nuclear halo. 
This phenomenon can be understood as the nuclei of 11b and 14b have, respectively, 1 and 4 neutrons orbiting substantially outside the classical Fermi water drop model of the nucleus. History The Sun has a concentration of 0.1 parts per billion of beryllium. Beryllium has a concentration of 2 to 6 parts per million in the Earth's crust. It is most concentrated in the soils, 6 ppm. Trace amounts of 9b are found in the Earth's atmosphere. The concentration of beryllium in seawater is 0.20.6 parts per trillion. In stream water, however, beryllium is more abundant with a concentration of 0.1 ppb. Beryllium is found in over 100 minerals, but most are uncommon to rare. The more common beryllium containing minerals include bertrandite 2, beryl, chrysoberyl, and phenakite. Precious forms of beryl are aquamarine, red beryl, and emerald. The green color in gem quality forms of beryl comes from varying amounts of chromium. The two main ores of beryllium, beryl, and bertrandite, are found in Argentina, Brazil, India, Madagascar, Russia, and the United States. Total world reserves of beryllium ore are greater than 400,000 tons. The extraction of beryllium from its compounds is a difficult process due to its high affinity for oxygen at elevated temperatures, and its ability to reduce water when its oxide film is removed. The United States, China, and Kazakhstan are the only three countries involved in the industrial scale extraction of beryllium. Beryllium production technology is in early stages of development in Russia after a 20-year hiatus. Beryllium is most commonly extracted from the mineral beryl, which is either sintered using an extraction agent or melted into a soluble mixture. The sintering process involves mixing beryl with sodium fluorosilicate and soda at 770 degrees Celsius to form sodium fluoroberylate, aluminium oxide and silicon dioxide. Beryllium hydroxide is precipitated from a solution of sodium fluoroberylate and sodium hydroxide in water. Extraction of beryllium using the melt method involves grinding beryl into a powder and heating it to 1650 degrees Celsius. The melt is quickly cooled with water and then reheated 250 to 300 degrees Celsius in concentrated sulfuric acid, mostly yielding beryllium sulfate and aluminium sulfate. Aqueous ammonia is then used to remove the aluminium and sulfur leaving beryllium hydroxide. Etymology Beryllium hydroxide created using either the sinter or melt method is then converted into beryllium fluoride or beryllium chloride. To form the fluoride, aqueous ammonium hydrogen fluoride is added to beryllium hydroxide to yield a precipitate of ammonium tetrafluoroberylate which is heated to 1000 degrees Celsius to form beryllium fluoride. Heating the fluoride to 900 degrees Celsius with magnesium forms finely divided beryllium, and additional heating to 1300 degrees Celsius creates the compact metal. Heating beryllium hydroxide forms the oxide, which becomes beryllium chloride when combined with carbon and chlorine. Electrolysis of molten beryllium chloride is then used to obtain the metal. Applications Beryllium's chemical behavior is largely a result of its small atomic and ionic radii. It thus has very high ionization potentials and strong polarization while bonded to other atoms, which is why all of its compounds are covalent. It is more chemically similar to aluminium than its close neighbors in the periodic table due to having a similar charge to radius ratio. An oxide layer forms around beryllium that prevents further reactions with air unless heated above 1000 degrees Celsius. 
Once ignited, beryllium burns brilliantly forming a mixture of beryllium oxide and beryllium nitride. Beryllium dissolves readily in non-oxidizing acids, such as HCl and diluted H2SO4, but not in nitric acid or water as this forms the oxide. This behavior is similar to that of aluminium metal. Beryllium also dissolves in alkali solutions. The beryllium atom has the electronic configuration 2s2. The two valence electrons give beryllium a plus 2 oxidation state and thus the ability to form two covalent bonds. The only evidence of lower valence of beryllium is in the solubility of the metal in BCl2 and in two neutral beryllium bis compounds in which the B center bears a formal oxidation state of zero. Due to the octet rule, atoms tend to seek a valence of 8 in order to resemble a noble gas. Beryllium tries to achieve a coordination number of 4 because its two covalent bonds fill half of this octet. Tetracoordination allows beryllium compounds, such as the fluoride or chloride, to form polymers. This characteristic is employed in analytical techniques using EDDA as a ligand. EDDA preferentially forms octahedral complexes thus absorbing other cations such as L3+, which might interfere for example, in the solvent extraction of a complex formed between B2 plus and acetylacetone. Beryllium readily forms complexes with strong donating ligands such as phosphine oxides and arsine oxides. There have been extensive studies of these complexes which show the stability of the OB bond. Solutions of beryllium salts, e.g. beryllium sulfate and beryllium nitrate, are acidic because of hydrolysis of the 4-2 plus ion. Radiation windows Mechanical applications Mirrors Magnetic applications Other products of hydrolysis include the trimeric ion 363+. Beryllium hydroxide, B2, is insoluble even in acidic solutions with pH less than 6, that is at biological pH. It is amphoteric and dissolves in strongly alkaline solutions. Beryllium forms binary compounds with many nonmetals. Anhydrous halides are known for F, Cl, Br, and IBEF2 has a silica-like structure with corner-shared BEF4 tetrahedra. BCl2 and BBr2 have chain structures with edge-shared tetrahedra. All beryllium halides have a linear monomeric molecular structure in the gas phase. Beryllium difluoride, BEF2, is different than the other difluorides. In general, beryllium has a tendency to bond covalently, much more so than the other alkaline earths and its fluoride is partially covalent. BEF2 has many similarities to SiO2 a mostly covalently bonded network solid. BEF2 has tetrahedrally coordinated metal and forms glasses. When crystalline, beryllium fluoride has the same room temperature crystal structure as quartz and shares many higher temperature structures also. Beryllium difluoride is very soluble in water unlike the other alkaline earth difluorides. However, BEF2 has much lower electrical conductivity when in solution or when molten than would be expected if it were fully ionic. Beryllium oxide, BO, is a white refractory solid, which has the wurtzite crystal structure and a thermal conductivity as high as in some metals. BO is amphoteric. Salts of beryllium can be produced by treating B2 with acid. Beryllium sulfide, selenide, and telluride are known, all having the zinc blend structure. Beryllium nitride, B3N2 is a high melting point compound which is readily hydrolyzed. Beryllium azide, Ben6 is known and beryllium phosphide, B6 
B3P2 has a similar structure to B3N2. Basic beryllium nitrate and basic beryllium acetate have similar tetrahedral structures with four beryllium atoms coordinated to a central oxide ion. A number of beryllium borides are known, such as B5B, B4B, B2B, BEB2, BEB6 and BEB12. Beryllium carbide, B2C, is a refractory brick red compound that reacts with water to give methane. No beryllium silicide has been identified. The mineral beryl, which contains beryllium, has been used at least since the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. In the 1st century CE, Roman naturalist Pliny the Elder mentioned in his Encyclopedia Natural History that beryl and emerald were similar. The Papyrus Grecus Holmiensis, written in the 3rd or 4th century CE, contains notes on how to prepare artificial emerald and beryl. Early analyses of emeralds and beryls by Martin Heinrich Klaproth, Torbern Olaf Bergman, Franz Karl Lacard, and Johann Jacob Bindheim always yielded similar elements, leading to the fallacious conclusion that both substances are aluminium silicates. Mineralogist René just how he discovered that both crystals are geometrically identical, and he asked chemist Louis Nicolas Vauquelin for a chemical analysis. Nuclear Applications in a 1798 paper read before the Institut de France, Vauquelin reported that he found a new earth by dissolving aluminium hydroxide from emerald and beryl in an additional alkali. The editors of the journal Annals de Chimie et de Physique named the new earth glycine for the sweet taste of some of its compounds. Klaproth preferred the name beryl lena due to the fact that yttria also formed sweet salts. The name beryllium was first used by Wohler in 1828. Friedrich Wohler and Antoine Bussy independently isolated beryllium in 1828 by the chemical reaction of metallic potassium with beryllium chloride, as follows. Using an alcohol lamp, Wohler heated alternating layers of beryllium chloride and potassium in a wired shut platinum crucible. The above reaction immediately took place and caused the crucible to become white hot. Upon cooling and washing the resulting grey-black powder he saw that it was made of fine particles with a dark metallic luster. The highly reactive potassium had been produced by the electrolysis of its compounds, a process discovered 21 years before. The chemical method using potassium yielded only small grains of beryllium from which no ingot of metal could be cast or hammered. Acoustics Electronic Healthcare the direct electrolysis of a molten mixture of beryllium fluoride and sodium fluoride by Paul Lebeau in 1898 resulted in the first pure samples of beryllium. However, industrial production started only after the First World War. The original industrial involvement included subsidiaries and scientists related to the Union Carbide and Carbon Corporation in Cleveland O and Siemens and Halsk AG in Berlin. In the U.S., the process was ruled by Hugh S. Cooper, director of the Chemet Laboratories Company. In Germany, the first commercially successful process for producing beryllium was developed in 1921 by Alfred Stock and Hans Goldschmidt. A sample of beryllium was bombarded with alpha rays from the decay of radium in a 1932 experiment by James Chadwick that uncovered the existence of the neutron. This same method is used in one class of radioisotope-based laboratory neutron sources that produce 30 neutrons for every million alpha particles. Beryllium production saw a rapid increase during World War II, due to the rising demand for hard beryllium copper alloys and phosphors for fluorescent lights. 
Most early fluorescent lamps used zinc orthosilicate with varying content of beryllium to emit greenish light. Small additions of magnesium tungstate improved the blue part of the spectrum to yield an acceptable white light. Halophosphate-based phosphors replaced beryllium-based phosphors after beryllium was found to be toxic. Electrolysis of a mixture of beryllium fluoride and sodium fluoride was used to isolate beryllium during the 19th century. The metal's high melting point makes this process more energy-consuming than corresponding processes used for the alkali metals. Early in the 20th century, the production of beryllium by the thermal decomposition of beryllium iodide was investigated following the success of a similar process for the production of zirconium, but this process proved to be uneconomical for volume production. Pure beryllium metal did not become readily available until 1957, even though it had been used as an alloying metal to harden and toughen copper much earlier. Beryllium could be produced by reducing beryllium compounds such as beryllium chloride with metallic potassium or sodium. Currently most beryllium is produced by reducing beryllium fluoride with purified magnesium. The price on the American market for vacuum cast beryllium ingots was about $338 per pound in 2001. Occupational Safety and Health Between 1998 and 2008, the world's production of beryllium had decreased from 343 to about 200 tons, of which 176 tons came from the United States. Early precursors of the word beryllium can be traced to many languages, including Latin beryllus, French berry, Greek beta rho upsilon lambda lambda omicron, brullos, beryl, prokrit verulia, plevoria, veru, or vire to become pale, in reference to the pale semi-precious gemstone beryl. The original source is probably the Sanskrit word which is of South Indian origin and could be related to the name of the modern city of Balur. For about 160 years, beryllium was also known as glucinum or glucinium or G, the name coming from the Greek word for sweet, gamma lambda upsilon kappa upsilon, due to the sweet taste of beryllium salts. Because of its low atomic number and very low absorption for X-rays, the oldest and still one of the most important applications of beryllium is in radiation windows for X-ray tubes. Extreme demands are placed on purity and cleanliness of beryllium to avoid artifacts in the X-ray images. Thin beryllium foils are used as radiation windows for X-ray detectors, and the extremely low absorption minimizes the heating effects caused by high intensity low-energy X-rays typical of synchrotron radiation. Vacuum-tight windows and beam tubes for radiation experiments on synchrotrons are manufactured exclusively from beryllium. In scientific setups for various X-ray emission studies the sample holder is usually made of beryllium because its emitted X-rays have much lower energies than X-rays from most studied materials. Low atomic number also makes beryllium relatively transparent to energetic particles. Therefore, it is used to build the beam pipe around the collision region in particle physics setups, such as all four main detector experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, the Tevatron, and the SLAC. The low density of beryllium allows collision products to reach the surrounding detectors without significant interaction. Its stiffness allows a powerful vacuum to be produced within the pipe to minimize interaction with gases, its thermal stability allows it to function correctly at temperatures of only a few degrees above absolute zero, and its diamagnetic nature keeps it from interfering with the complex multipole magnet systems used to steer and focus the particle beams. Because of its stiffness, lightweight, and dimensional stability over a wide temperature range, 
beryllium metal is used for lightweight structural components in the defense and aerospace industries in high-speed aircraft, guided missiles, spacecraft, and satellites. Several liquid-fuel rockets have used rocket nozzles made of pure beryllium. Beryllium powder was itself studied as a rocket fuel, but this use has never materialized. A small number of extreme high-end bicycle frames have been built with beryllium. From 1998 to 2000, the McLaren Formula One team used Mercedes engines with beryllium aluminium alloy pistons. The use of beryllium engine components was banned following a protest by Cuderia Ferrari. Mixing about 2.0% beryllium into copper forms an alloy called beryllium copper that is six times stronger than copper alone. Beryllium alloys are used in many applications because of their combination of elasticity, high electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity, high strength and hardness non-magnetic properties, as well as good corrosion and fatigue resistance. These applications include non-sparking tools that are used near flammable gases, in springs, and membranes used in surgical instruments and high-temperature devices. As little as 50 parts per million of beryllium alloyed with liquid magnesium leads to a significant increase in oxidation resistance and decrease in flammability. The high elastic stiffness of beryllium has led to its extensive use in precision instrumentation, e.g. in inertial guidance systems and in the support mechanisms for optical systems. Beryllium copper alloys were also applied as a hardening agent in Jason pistols, which were used to strip the paint from the hulls of ships. Beryllium was also used for cantilevers in high-performance phonograph cartridge styli where its extreme stiffness and low density allowed for tracking weights to be reduced to 1 gram, yet still track high-frequency passages with minimal distortion. An earlier major application of beryllium was in brakes for military airplanes because of its hardness, high melting point, and exceptional ability to dissipate heat. Environmental considerations have led to substitution by other materials. To reduce costs, beryllium can be alloyed with significant amounts of aluminium, resulting in the albumet alloy. This blend is cheaper than pure beryllium, while still retaining many desirable properties. Precautions Notes Beryllium mirrors are of particular interest. Large area mirrors frequently with a honeycomb support structure, are used, for example, in meteorological satellites where low weight and long-term dimensional stability are critical. Smaller beryllium mirrors are used in optical guidance systems and in fire control systems, e.g. in the German-made Leopard 1 and Leopard 2 main battle tanks. In these systems, very rapid movement of the mirror is required which again dictates low mass and high rigidity. Usually the beryllium mirror is coated with hard electroless nickel plating which can be more easily polished to a finer optical finish than beryllium. In some applications, though, the beryllium blank is polished without any coating. This is particularly applicable to cryogenic operation where thermal expansion mismatch can cause the coating to buckle. The James Webb Space Telescope will have 18 hexagonal beryllium sections for its mirrors. Because JWST will face a temperature of 33 K, the mirror is made of gold-plated beryllium, capable of handling extreme cold better than glass. Beryllium contracts and deforms less than glass and remains more uniform in such temperatures. For the same reason, the optics of the Spitzer Space Telescope are entirely built of beryllium metal. Beryllium is non-magnetic. Therefore, 
tools fabricated out of beryllium-based materials are used by naval or military explosive ordnance disposal teams for work on or near naval mines, since these mines commonly have magnetic fuses. They are also found in maintenance and construction materials near magnetic resonance imaging machines because of the high magnetic fields generated. In the fields of radio communications and powerful radars, hand tools made of beryllium are used to tune the highly magnetic klystrons, magnetrons, traveling wave tubes, etc., that are used for generating high levels of microwave power in the transmitters. Thin plates or foils of beryllium are sometimes used in nuclear weapon designs as the very outer layer of the plutonium pits in the primary stages of thermonuclear bombs, placed to surround the fissile material. These layers of beryllium are good pushers for the implosion of the plutonium-239, and they are good neutron reflectors, just as in beryllium-moderated nuclear reactors. Beryllium is also commonly used in some neutron sources in laboratory devices in which relatively few neutrons are needed. For this purpose, a target of beryllium-9 is bombarded with energetic alpha particles from a radioisotope such as polonium-210, radium-226, plutonium-238, or americium-241. In the nuclear reaction that occurs, a beryllium nucleus is transmuted into carbon-12, and one free neutron is emitted, traveling in about the same direction as the alpha particle was heading. Such alpha decay-driven beryllium neutron sources, named urchin neutron initiators, were used in some early atomic bombs. Neutron sources in which beryllium is bombarded with gamma rays from a gamma decay radioisotope, are also used to produce laboratory neutrons. Beryllium is also used in fuel fabrication for Kandu reactors. The fuel elements have small appendages that are resistance brazed to the fuel cladding using an induction brazing process with B as the braze filler material. Bearing pads are brazed in place to prevent fuel bundle to pressure tube contact, and inter-element spacer pads are brazed on to prevent element-to-element -element contact. Beryllium is also used at the Joint European Taurus Nuclear Fusion Research Laboratory, and it will be used in the more advanced ITER to condition the components which face the plasma. Beryllium has also been proposed as a cladding material for nuclear fuel rods, because of its good combination of mechanical, chemical, and nuclear properties. Beryllium fluoride is one of the constituent salts of the eutectic salt mixture FLIB, which is used as a solvent, moderator and coolant in many hypothetical molten salt reactor designs, including the liquid fluoride thorium reactor. The low weight and high rigidity of beryllium make it useful as a material for high-frequency speaker drivers. Because beryllium is expensive, hard to shape due to its brittleness, and toxic if mishandled, beryllium tweeters are limited to high-end home, pro-audio, and public address applications. Some high-fidelity products have been fraudulently claimed to be made of the material. Some high-end phonograph cartridges used beryllium cantilevers to improve tracking by reducing mass. Beryllium is a p-type dopant in IIIV compound semiconductors. It is widely used in materials such as GAAS, LGAAS, NGAAS, and NL as grown by molecular beam epitaxy. Cross-rolled beryllium sheet is an excellent structural support for printed circuit boards and surface mount technology. In critical electronic applications, beryllium is both a structural support and heat sink. The application also requires a coefficient of thermal expansion that is well matched to the alumina and polyamide glass substrates.
the beryllium beryllium oxide composite e materials have been specially designed for these electronic applications and have the additional advantage that the thermal expansion coefficient can be tailored to match diverse substrate materials. Beryllium oxide is useful for many applications that require the combined properties of an electrical insulator and an excellent heat conductor, with high strength and hardness, and a very high melting point. Beryllium oxide is frequently used as an insulator base plate in high power transistors and radio frequency transmitters for telecommunications. Beryllium oxide is also being studied for use in increasing the thermal conductivity of uranium dioxide nuclear fuel pellets. Beryllium compounds were used in fluorescent lighting tubes, but this use was discontinued because of the disease beryliosis which developed in the workers who were making the tubes. Beryllium is a component of several dental alloys. Beryllium is a health and safety issue for workers. Exposure to beryllium in the workplace can lead to a sensitization immune response and can over time develop chronic beryllium disease. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health in the United States researches these effects in collaboration with a major manufacturer of beryllium products. The goal of this research is to prevent sensitization and CBD by developing a better understanding of the work processes and exposures that may present a potential risk for workers, and to develop effective interventions that will reduce the risk for adverse health effects. Niash also conducts genetic research on sensitization and CBD, independently of this collaboration. The Niche Manual of Analytical Methods contains methods for measuring occupational exposures to beryllium. Approximately 35 micrograms of beryllium is found in the average human body, an amount not considered harmful. Beryllium is chemically similar to magnesium and therefore can displace it from enzymes, which causes them to malfunction. Because B2 plus is a highly charged and small ion, it can easily get into many tissues and cells, where it specifically targets cell nuclei, inhibiting many enzymes, including those used for synthesizing DNA. Its toxicity is exacerbated by the fact that the body has no means to control beryllium levels, and once inside the body the beryllium cannot be removed. Chronic beryliosis is a pulmonary and systemic granulomatous disease caused by inhalation of dust or fumes contaminated with beryllium, either large amounts over a short time or small amounts over a long time can lead to this ailment. Symptoms of the disease can take up to five years to develop, about a third of patients with it die and the survivors are left disabled. The International Agency for Research on Cancer lists beryllium and beryllium compounds as Category 1 carcinogens. In the U.S., the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has designated a permissible exposure limit in the workplace with a time-weighted average 0.002 mg m3 and a constant exposure limit of 0.005 mg m3 over 30 minutes with a maximum peak limit of 0.025 mg m3. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit of constant 0.0005 mg m3. The IDLH value is 4 mg m3. The toxicity of finely divided beryllium is very well documented. Solid beryllium metal does not carry the same hazards as airborne inhaled dust, but any hazard associated with physical contact is poorly documented. Workers handling finished beryllium pieces are routinely advised to handle them with gloves, both as a precaution and because many if not most applications of beryllium cannot tolerate residue of skin contacts such as fingerprints. 
Acute beryllium disease in the form of chemical pneumonitis was first reported in Europe in 1933 and in the United States in 1943. A survey found that about 5% of workers in plants manufacturing fluorescent lamps in 1949 in the United States had beryllium-related lung diseases. Chronic beryllosis resembles sarcoidosis in many respects, and the differential diagnosis is often difficult. It killed some early workers in nuclear weapons design, such as Herbert L. Anderson. Beryllium may be found in coal slag. When the slag is formulated into an abrasive agent for blasting paint and rust from hard surfaces, the beryllium can become airborne and become a source of exposure. Early researchers tasted beryllium and its various compounds for sweetness in order to verify its presence. Modern diagnostic equipment no longer necessitates this highly risky procedure and no attempt should be made to ingest this highly toxic substance. Beryllium and its compounds should be handled with great care and special precautions must be taken when carrying out any activity which could result in the release of beryllium dust. Although the use of beryllium compounds in fluorescent lighting tubes was discontinued in 1949, Potential for exposure to beryllium exists in the nuclear and aerospace industries and in the refining of beryllium metal and melting of beryllium-containing alloys, the manufacturing of electronic devices, and the handling of other beryllium-containing material. A successful test for beryllium in air and on surfaces has been recently developed and published as an International Voluntary Consensus Standard ASTM D7202. The procedure uses dilute ammonium bifluoride for dissolution and fluorescence detection with beryllium bound to sulfonated hydroxybenzoquinoline, allowing up to 100 times more sensitive detection than the recommended limit for beryllium concentration in the workplace. Fluorescence increases with increasing beryllium concentration. The new procedure has been successfully tested on a variety of surfaces and is effective for the dissolution and ultratrace detection of refractory beryllium oxide and silicious beryllium.